Hey, let's talk about intro, transition, and ending clips. Every routine starts with an intro clip. There's a couple of other options that you can use as well. The intros, transitions, and endings can all be found in the transitions category. Now, an intro clip's usually just used for a five, six, seven, eight intro. It's like a boom with a swell, and it's meant to put a voiceover on top of. Uh, most of them sound like this. I'll play it again. Cheersounds.com. Now, the transition clips are like that as well. They're booms and swells and just rhythmic elements. They have no vocals. And the transition ones are meant to put voiceovers on top of. Or you can just use them alone if you want to use it as a cheer section in your routine. And clip. Pay attention, take notes, might learn something from us. And if you just listen to that transition by itself, which is transition background number three, then it sounds like this. Cheersounds.com so that's how I, when I preview it, it's just, you can tell there's no music to it really. There's no voiceover, but it's meant to put one on top of. And I pulled this voiceover out of the voiceover section. So when I play them together, Pay attention, take notes, might learn something from us. And that's why uh, transition clips exist. And then the ending booms, which are also found in the same transition category. Uh, the ending booms are just booms. They're explosions. We use them at the end of the routine. Uh, though I see a lot of customers put them throughout their whole routine just to add an extra impact every once in a while. So uh, they sound something like this. Cheersounds.com uh, We have a couple we could preview here. Cheersounds.com Cheersounds. Cheersounds. So that's intros, transitions, and endings, and that's pretty much how we use them.